Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3 and welcome back to our Mexican Republic with our president and aging president Lucas Alaman. We are in April 1865 and we come we are coming out of a struggle some more interesting time. Um, yeah, most recently we lost Utah, Colorado and New Mexico to the United States. However, we kept California and Nevada in our territory, which is kind of essential for our um, financial situation right now. As I need to remind you, we are currently making 75k just from minting and thereof we just get... Uh, let me have a quick look. We get basically 20k from Nevada alone and 38k from on top from California so losing them is kind of <laughs> would be kind of financially bad for us right now however we still have 24 month truce with the Americans and we do have a defensive pact with the Brits and the, uh, the Haiti but who cares about Haiti and Spain as well however last time only Russia helped us which was not really helpful so yeah, this is going to be an interesting point in terms of foreign policy. Apart from this, we expanded southward and meant uh, basically subjugated Salvador and Costa Rica while annexing our former um, puppets of Guatemala, Honduras and Nicaragua recently. So actually we are expanding. Same time we are also expanding, yeah, definitely economically and having, yeah, building a lot of stuff with a lot of uh, yeah, power. Let's see how we can keep this up and how yeah, we can keep on growing. Apart from this, in, a, in terms of inner politics, we've been yeah, through tough times and we basically um, survived by suddenly switching to consumption-based um, taxation. However, at the moment, our political situation looks kind of um, stable, despite there is an interest group that um, drives for total separation of state and church, which on the long term is for sure beneficial to us. But yeah, with the <laughs> we need to kind of keep our Catholic church happy at the moment. And Lucas Alaman, I think, doesn't want to in his age, he doesn't want to have any further tribulations right now. However, yeah, of course, in the future, we need to reform a little bit. And yeah, I don't want to lose too much time like talking ahead. And I think let's just go in and see where we're going. Maybe start off with three. Apart from this, we are getting the Caudillos out of the government. This is one of the big things. And um, you might, if you followed this one, uh, you might know that there were reasons why they're not part of the Conservative Party right now. Yeah, we didn't want to bring them in. So we just keep the Conservatives in the church and landowners. And once again, everybody wants to join, but we couldn't have them join it. <laughs> so all these interest groups are mostly out of government. Well, these two parties have been switching. On the long term, we really hope that Benito Juarez comes into a position of power soon, or like being president, since yeah, he was, historically speaking, and he's kind of an impressive figure, as you might have gotten out from my prologue video. Well, anyways, let's do the daily business and have a look at the event The Mexican Dream in Sonora. A story had been making the rounds about a miner who struck it rich and became the wealthiest man in his town. People in Sonora are beginning to live beyond their means, convinced they'll all become rich soon enough. Yeah, um, we've had this event a couple of times. Sonora, um... No, oh, come on. Plus two standard of living, let's go for that. Also, we need to increase that for sure, since at some point we're gonna need some migration to Mexico. But, yeah... Let's have a quick look what other situation we have around here. Um, yeah, Nevada with really bad market access. So is um, California. For California, we can easily ex build just another port. Same with Sonora. Yeah, at some point, we should also ne need to have a look at railways. Did we build one in Mexico City already? Uh, we're on the way to do so. Yeah, then let's... Uh, before we read about pan-nationalism, let's keep on expanding the ports in Sonora. And there was Guerrero as well, I think, right? The Guerrero, yes. And I'm always kind of motivated to push these um, it's infrastructure when there's sh shortages of those to push them to the top. Let's finish the iron mines in Sonora first, but yeah. I don't want to have them, them to be off the market or like with lower market access for that long. Pan nationalism. The notions of nationalism are in general the idea of people who speak the same language are the same people. But what of those who almost speak the same language as us? People see them as our cousins, but there's new school of thought that they're really our long lost brothers and we should be united into a great whole. Together we will be stronger and able to protect our people. Yeah, plus 5% authority, quite nice. 
this will give us some freedom and actually um, enact some more um, taxes in case our gold breaks away. Well, now we can use maybe the road maintenance over here with yeah with the extra authority. Well, decisions, new elections, nope, nothing over here. Transportation shortage in Guatemala, okay. Well, okay, the other countries already ex built here their... Um, they built already the railroads down here in Central America, which is surprising where we have way worse terrain. But the question is, what do they need it for, actually? Um, consumption... Have a quick look, maybe here somewhere. I guess somewhere here the railroad transport has been activated. Yeah, yeah, Nicaragua. Yeah, it's we have at the moment we should not, I think, do that since we do have enough manpower to do it manually. Yeah, all these transportations. No, guys, you can do that manually at the moment, and we'll come back to them at some point. At the same time, we can increase our fisherman behavior. Oh, <laughs> we're still like a little bit lost, but I think we can go to trawlers. They even in, didn't even anticipate that we had uh, not switched all of them yet, except Yucatan for the moment. Yeah, good. And get them privately owned. So if we have privately owned ones, then it, more money goes actually to the investment fund. So let's do that. Here we can. Great general training, okay. And yet, yeah, did we... Do we have already our... Um, are we running already on steamships now, right? No, not yet. Yeah, we're slowly, slowly just building up a little bit over, let's say... Uh, mont mountain industry. Let's, by the way, speed up four again. I feel like we got in... It's just been some time since I recorded last. That's why I needed some time also to get big in the situation. And I feel like for you guys or for the people that come in newly, um, it's always a good idea to have a little bit of a wrap up. Oh, uh, and something has happened. Um, somehow the Catholic Church has become more happy and suddenly we have the Divine Right activated, which grants us uh, less radicals from um, the from standard of living decreases and especially more authority that can be blown out for um, more by the way we need new commanders let's uh, have a quick look which armies we do have actually it's been a while uh, the third one let's strengthen the intelligentsia that's what we want and the mexican fleet also has problems then another time we're gonna strengthen the intelligentsia nice Foreign influx provokes out outcry. The Catholic Church has spoken out against the migrants moving into Sonora, pleading with the government to support native miners by discouraging immigration into the state. Do you really think they are moving just because they want to work? Just took, take a look around. What do you see here? That's it. Gold. They have greed in their eyes, I tell you. They're coming to take it all from us and they won't leave a penny behind. What's even wrong with the trying to protect the future of our people? Um, we can limit migration into Sonora, where, yeah, they, Sonora loses the gold rush effect, which we're definitely not going to do. Or we need every spare hand we can get in Sonora. Yeah, petit bourgeois, uh, they love us anyways, at, currently. Uh, strangers are very much welcome. By the way, we're really, really having a quite a great... Um, we're building up gold reserves right now. That's a good preparation for the future, I would say. But I do want to extend a little bit our construction to get get our grow, um, growth up. And let's do it in some places. Um, let's increase our construction program, yes. And see how this turns out. Should like be around 100 production. That's really nice, slowly. Thinking about once again about the military. Of course, um, I had also some comments that I should increase our military. I see the point. However, um, yeah, a lot. I mean, they have 150 battalions. 
this is not on 50 uh, flotillas. This is impossible for us right now. I'm really surprised how they managed to do this with HTTP. Oh god, the AI is really so bad. <laughs> We're catching up to the yes in terms of GDP and outperforming in terms of standard of living heavily. Wow. Anyways, in the meantime, we got improved fertilizers, and that's something we're definitely going to apply now. Um, let's have a look. Fertilizer plants go to improved ones for sure. Um, no, we continue because the price is growing also in a sec. Yeah, here are the explosives we can also upgrade. And now we can, in, for our wheat farms and mice farms, we can go to fertilizers, which will yeah help us tons. And also here over here, we can go to slaughterhouse. Yes. Now continue where we will get more fertilizer also out of the livestock ranches. Let's, we're going to observe this in a second. In the meantime, we have to pick a new research and maybe you could even think about... ...doing something for our military. But it's already growing, to be honest. Nah, I don't intend to go too hard into military in worst case once again we'll lose california and so maybe we're gonna go for dynamite since we get the resource discovery chance also uh, chance increasing uh, especially since we do have gold and so forth this might be helpful actually or is there anything in society research we are missing oh maybe i'm going to for mutual funds actually yeah Correcting myself, this is more important right now. Yes, I like yeah, these level three. Here's a lot of interesting stuff for us. Of course, we can't go for everything. Let's see. The private and um, sector is building arms industries. Okay. Okay. Actually, after talking about it, maybe I want to extend a little bit our info. Uh, let's. There's also not so much population to do so. Um, bring it at least up to four uh, infantry. It's like 15. Yeah, well, it is what it is, no? Also here... Yeah, I know you can specialize a little bit more, probably spart, uh, but just uh, we're having these baseline units right now and the third mexican army uh this is bullshit i think this is coming basically from our acquisitions in the south so i think we're gonna add this one to these guys just to strengthen them a little further we don't need that many armies actually and then they come in and they have five more than we can let's get them up to 20 so um There's not so many people. We wow, we need really. In, uh, oh, Kalisco has plenty, but we really need migration. And maybe I'm gonna even prioritize these units. Yeah, so that nobody complains. It's just a couple of infantry incoming, but uh, is there anything? But let's finish these other things first, and then the ports also. Uh, alt, of course, sorry. It's, by the way, alt and clicking moves stuff up to the very top. And don't you worry, the the, the minus that we suddenly get is coming from not building on uh, less of a um, uh, interest investment pool transfer, since we're building also government buildings that don't get any support, like the barracks that are coming. We do have a lot of authority, actually. I didn't check that out in detail. Is there... I feel like Sonora needs even more support. And you get road maintenance. In here Sinaloa is and Sonora are provinces that have basically no mountains. This is really helpful. And they have no population or little ones, so therefore maybe I'm gonna go uh, greener grass campaigns here actually. 
both of them, yeah. They do have a very high, uh, really, really high migration attraction right now. With a little bit of luck, we might attract some migration waves or something. Um, do we actually have the journal entry to bring out the... Uh, probably have to do something, finish something else first. Is this our first steel mill, by the way, in Sinaloa? No, the second one. Uh, what a success. Our industri industrialization is rushing up. Let's have, by the way, a look on our situation over here. And the prices didn't really check that. Oh, we need definitely more engines. Let's get some from the Spanish. And we need some more fertilizer badly. Sulfur, iron. Okay, so, well, iron is expensive. And coal. Are we building any of that soon? Yeah, there's plenty of iron mines at least. But in Jalis... Yeah. Let's still finish these first. Is there any coal incoming? Do we even have coal at our disposal? A little bit, yeah, in Guerrero. But not that many people living there also. So coal, do we have more sulfur at our disposal? Ah, California nevertheless. Then let's import some more sulfur, to be honest. Uh, where do we go? Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Spain and Ecuador, yeah. Glass, paper, explosives, uh, fertilizer, that's what I said, right? Oh, Mexico City has tons of population that, are, that we can use, by the way. Uh, paper. What does I say? Glass. Do we, don't we have any glass mill yet? Um... Yeah, let's upgrade those. Any chance? All right. Law enforcement going up. What peaceful times, huh? And slowly here, they're really recovering from... Um, from the former shocks, I think it's just the uh, opposing recent change from tenant farmers to homesteading. That's been a while, but now they're slowly getting used to it. Yeah. So what would be a next step? Total separation is being asked for. Um, yeah, that will that definitely radicalize the um, the church. However, yeah, we lose a lot of authority. However, we get 10% migration attraction, which is quite sweet. Um, Multiculturalism is obviously also something we need, but to have that, do we need some? I think we just need any. Nobody's really asking this for anything. And by the way, uh, oh, this is a huge moment. Lucas Alaman has died in the age of seventy-three, apparently, and uh, his position was taken over by. Flavio Gomez, who is what a charismatic political operator, and he is, is um, a theocrat. Oh, so he's strongly, definitely strongly against the separation, and he strongly endorses theocracy, and he's against the republic. Ooh, but so far, I don't know what Alaman was actually, but at least he's not losing. He's not. Lo they're not going down immediately. But is there something politically we would like to do and what we can do? Restricted child labor. Yeah, the church hates that. Rural folks don't doesn't like it. Why does Benito Juarez not doesn't like it? Huh? Then maybe not. I mean, uh, agrarism at the moment is still not bad since we do have mo mostly farms. At some point, we might change to interventionism, even though it's liked right now. I don't want it right now. Trade unions would like that a lot, the property women.
But to be honest, at the moment we're still enjoying rather the yeah. I really and rather enjoy the situation of uh, thumb stability before we keep on going, and maybe the next elections will change a lot, anyways, or might. So we don't really know. I'm happy just to pause reforms right now. And by the way, I don't know why this like just maybe we're working at full throttle right now. Rubber discovered. Okay. This is something we should definitely also, I think, exploit. Uh, all the rubber that is available. Just to get it out a little bit. And then we can at least, uh, we should also switch to rubber tools, I assume. Can we actually go to that already? Have we? Steel tools, no, that's the next step. Okay. Now nah, our steel doesn't really get there yet. I mean,. Actually, can we maybe switch up some of our works already towards... Where's our steel production? Uh, Sinaloa, right? Yeah, so maybe then Sinaloa can already do steel tools. Uh, maybe the neighboring province of... What was it? Sonora, right? Sonora also. Let's see. Like At least we, did, uh, we managed to get some demand out for for uh, for steel so let's see now as more people should get in by the way we had this thing incoming let's have a quick look at our um at our companies and looking at them i kind of feel like we should get rid of our gold since we're not building any gold anymore we don't have loans right now so there's no huge profit in having the gold mines in. Nope, actually this is something. Let's have a quick look what other company might be helpful for us right now. Uh, we need still, still mess at level 5 to get these guys out. I mean, this would be helpful. El Aguila, we don't have oil by now. Grains. Wheat or rye farms at 5, okay. This could be done quickly. Okay, Jalisco agriculture could be already established. It's basically the same. Yeah, but just more mice based. Premium fabrics. I think since we're building food industries, this would be more interesting, probably. Plantation production. This is also sweet. Yeah, yeah, this is what we're gonna get. Plantation throughput, really good since we have plenty of them now. Ah, but we don't have any of them on higher than five here. Also not. Let's come. Um, but this affects more of our uh, plantations. The Mexican Plantation Consortium dies. You know what? We already saw that we can get the. Uh, we can disband the Bajio gold and then get some of those in and which which one did I pick <laughs> that's up why doesn't this work we still don't have enough plantations I mean we could also go for the textiles or the minerals um Which is the Honduras has four coffee Guatemala, yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Interesting question. Which one to expand? Um where, where do we make money? Coffee versus cotton? Oh actually cotton. Versus tobacco cotton, okay. Then let's cotton up here in Honduras quickly. Oh, by the way, we can always switch. It's also still in our... Uh, we can always switch to high employment here in the uh, increased employment to even further our output. Maybe I shall do that at one point. But first, let's... Just, uh, prioritize this plantation so we can choose the, 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 the company. Okay, Guerrero should be solved after this port's being constructed. Then our quick build-up of military is starting already. 
followed by artillery foundry in Nicaragua. Okay. I oh, know this long is, this one's for later. Yeah, I guess coal and sulfur should be a little bit prioritized. I'm I'm gonna come back. I right, let's let's actually pause for a second. I'm just adjusting this prioritize a little bit. But of course I'm gonna finish the stuff first and Okay, we're gonna take this one coal mine as well. Fair enough. So let's build an iron mines. Plantations. I think a plantation throughput is going to be really helpful. Considering, I mean, the mines. We of course we have mining problems right now, but to be honest, we don't have so many options to extend our mines. You know, iron a little bit more. This, but this is the main reason why. And it's not giving any mine output. That's why I'm rather supporting our plantations. I would say, yeah, there's plenty of them. And then we have to maybe check out if there's a. Yeah, we definitely need to export more of this also. Uh, okay, no, nobody wants sugar by now. I don't know why I haven't been doing this, to be honest. But or... Let's get some stuff. More sugar. Tuscany, okay. Venetia? What is happening in Ritz? Okay, Republic of San Marco. Interesting. Is the Venetian market... Ooh, they're big. Interesting. President, okay. Well done, well done, well done. I'm gonna keep it running, by the way, and uh, let's see if we can export some more sugar. Nope. Some more meat. No. New Granada. Guns. Yeah. Ecuador, I think we do have a trade agreement with Ecuador, right? Some of the. Uh, not so much possible anymore. Let's make it easier to export these things, yeah. Coffee, uh, with coffee, by the way. Is coffee so expensive? Oh, wow. Coffee and tobacco are really expensive. Then I think we can actually go straight away to increased employment for both of them. And then let's see how they will affect the prices. But I would rather end here cotton. Um, this was definitely too high. Especially since we do want to export both of them. Um, I guess the, the amount of workers has to adjust first before we see a fall, the drop in the prices. Probably, yeah. It's a way we can observe maybe what's going on with them. Yeah, they're still hiring, they're still hiring exactly. With the extended and large production methods, there's more places to work in. In active trade, yeah, we can over have a look at our trades at the moment. Yeah, that's so far we're gonna keep up. Okay, don't then not. No. I mean, with the falling prices, this should get better. Uh, um, what I'm trying to s units, I was. Looking for units, actually, yeah. What is the most there? Yeah, we're still importing. However, dice to Spain is quite successful. That's nice to see. Do we get our actual trade agreement? Oh, we do have one with Spain. That's good to know. Spain, France, and... Okay, and Ecuador. It's actually trading with Britain. Why don't we have one with Britain? They don't want us, okay. So, in this case... Let's cancel the ones that go to Britain. And the ones we lack, the stuff we get from the French. Ecuador. Or the Dutch. Or... Oh, Spanish. Yeah. It's not optimal, of course, on the long term. We need to... Do this ourselves. Here. Ooh. Growth could get cheaper also. And what to export? Is the price dropping already for the... Uh, tobacco and coffee have been more expensive, I think so, right? Actually importing from... Oh, this is surprising. 
Let's have a quick look. By the way, we're running into a deficit uh, in terms of bureaucracy. That's why maybe we can go up here, or at least with some of them. Okay. Oh, we're still at simple organization, okay. Then let's get it out here to step one. I mean, yeah, we are pretty small, I assume. That's where why. At least we want uh, we are having back the positive situation. Our GDP is fluctuating hard, but it's performing. Ooh. Are they? Oh man, Heidi is already in our market. Let's, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it's been a while since the last uh, production, so I might have forgotten some things. And I seem to be able to form a trade contract with the. Yeah, but I think Venezuela both a defensive pact and a trade uh, uh, agreement with them might be useful. We do have it with also New Granada, right? Um. In Ecuador. I mean, a little bit of luck, we could get them also into our customs union. Let me show see how this goes. Can we already found the um, plantation company that I wanted to? Is the I should have built it, right? And didn't I finish already? Any Mexican state? Sugar, tobacco, coffee. Didn't I just build a coffee plantation in Nicaragua? Or maybe it's Nicaragua not a state yet. Ah, that's where that's where we're coming from. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's have another look. Um, what are this? Uh, what would you want? Tobacco or um, coffee? Zacatecas is a state, right? So. Definitely this one, and also, come on, let's let's do it since we're already on it right now. Where's coffee, 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 coffee? Yeah, Guatemala, no. Honduras, okay, we don't do so much coffee yet. Okay, then let's just prioritize this tobacco in Zacatecas, and do we have enough? Yeah, there's peasants also. And after the finalization of this one, okay, gold depleted in Nevada, there we go. <laughs> Just talking be right before about we don't need to build any more gold mines, but to be honest, I will not. Um, unfortunate, yeah, we don't know what migration doing. Going to Nevada, rather to leave it. And we're also going to build the gold mines at least last in our current queue since, um, yeah, we never know when the Americans, uh, United States are coming to take it over. All right, guys, and I think. Let's finish this quick a scandal in Mexico. Police have shut down a notorious male brothel. The arrest appropriator has revealed that Flavio de Iturbide is part of his clientele and his information is leaking to the press. Who? <laughs> From the landowners, that's funny. An indescribably loathsome scandal has struck Mexico. The capture boys were made to confess and the Sentinel reports that another sensation about this affair will soon burst. 22 men implicated Blue Bloods and others have fled from Mexico. He must resign immediately or try to cover up the story. What's his deal? He's a, I mean, he's a reformer, right? That's why actually the landowners are, <laughs> this is kind of rare and therefore we are gonna cover it up because this is helpful for us and they don't want it replaced by a classic nobility person that would probably, despite him being hated now. Yeah, but we'd rather have weak and loyal uh, um, landowners than otherwise around. Alrighty, guys, uh, I guess we're going to start with the new company in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I hope uh, some of you will be pacified with a little bit of, of a military expansion. But uh, yeah, we won't be able to <laughs> face really these states alone. Nevertheless, I think it's still very interesting and uh, I'm having tons of fun with this game so far. So I'm excited to continue soon. And yeah, I hope so, so do you. If you enjoyed it too, it would be fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription so you won't miss future episodes and also it's, it's, it's cost you nothing and uh, means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. And most importantly, see you in the next episode. Bye, your strategy wolf.